you know, one of the things I do think that theater makes people better people. It makes them empathetic. It helps them think about other people's stories. It helps them work with other people. So yes, so much of it is about being a good actor and being a good technician, but if they're better people, then it's worth it. She's doing so much. She provides a program that goes above and beyond the typical theater arts program. She puts so much time and effort into this program, and she's just, she's an amazing teacher. You know, she does life with these kids. She commits her life. She's basically a second mom. <laughs> she's here before most people get here in the morning, and she's here far beyond any time planning and producing these shows. More importantly, she's created a home for so many kids on our campus. Come one, come all, it's theater, and you have a role here, and you have a place. And she's pulled kids in who didn't have somewhere to go. They're now helping build sets. Over 100 kids, part of her productions. She pointed me in a, in a direction that I didn't even know I was gonna take. She helped me develop real life skills that I was gonna use uh, getting out of high school into college into the workforce. They're taught how to work in teams, how to collaborate. They're taught problem solving. And those are the skills that are gonna make them successful doctors, successful lawyers, successful electricians and plumbers because they know how to be responsible. They know how to work with people. They know how to communicate. And hopefully they also can appreciate theater. Our goal is for all kids to be prepared for college and career readiness. The arts are helping us do that. Right now, for costumes, they really have no way to create their own. For a theater program that's on such a tight budget, we don't really buy new costumes unless we have to. I think definitely costumes has been neglected a little bit. Unfortunately, public education, I don't have as many funds to support all of those wishes. When I walked into the theater and there were a lot of kids and people just clapping. <laughs> I saw that look of just pure confusion. What's kind of going on? She was scared to death. There's a woman in the audience that rose her hand. Hi, can I come up and say something? Sure, come on up. I'm a helpful Honda person. And we are here with a random act of helpfulness in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week. To so thank you for everything that you do, we want to give you some helpful supplies and equipment that will make your theater come to life. Let's give it up for her. Can we give a big round applause for Honda for being here today, our helpful Honda friends? She's gonna be able to create teams who specifically work on costume design. It'll be nice to actually take a student-led design class and be able to actually design costumes in our own particular way that we feel meets the show. Helpful Honda is definitely meeting a need that I couldn't meet as her principal, and we're so very grateful. You give so much to this program, you give so much to the students, you give so much of your time to make it a program that they get to have ownership of, and they get to direct, and they get to lead, and they learn so many additional skills because of your leadership. Thank you. Sometimes as teachers, we don't often get that external validation, and today she did. And it's a really wonderful thing. We, I couldn't have picked someone better. Mrs. Martin, I just want to thank you so much for everything you do for Alta Loma High School, the impact you have on our campus. You are truly an amazing individual and I'm honored to work with you. You're one of the most inspiring people I've ever met and um, have helped me through some of my hardest times. Thank you. You guys are making a real impact and so thank you for recognizing what we do and I really appreciate that you guys value teachers and that you guys are valuing what we do, so thank you. Thank, thank you so much,